Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Nadi here. Today, I'm going to share with you this recipe. Now, this was prepared by my cousin and myself, and it's really, really tasty. We're going to cook it bonjil dry in masala, and we're going to add some okras and poi bhaji or malabar spinach. And together with all the spices, it's going to simmer down dry, and guys, it's so tasty. So let's get started. So to start with, this was pre-seasoned overnight and I'm going to list all the ingredients that we use in the description box. Now we're just going to add some flour and give everything a nice mix and we're going to fry this. So we're going to fry this for like about a minute on each side. We do not want to over fry it, just halfway cook. So this is all done and um, this is what our fish look like. So now we're going to start the cooking process. So for some ingredients that we will be using, I have some nice fresh poi bhaji or malabar spinach. I had some frozen okras that I'm using. You know, fresh is always better, of course. I have a large onion chopped into small pieces, two very large tomatoes. I have here some hot peppers. We're using the Surinamese hot pepper, which you can replace with any pepper of your choice. Cilantro and scallions. So we're using the vegetable oil and we're going to start by sauteing the onions and the pepper. We're using the hot yellow serenami pepper but you can use replaces with habanero pepper. So we're going to fry this until the onions starting to get a little brown and we're going to add the garlic. Now you don't want to add the garlic too early because you don't want to burn the flavor out. We're going to go ahead and add our salt, half maggi bullion block and we're going to add the turmeric powder so we've added like about one teaspoon of the turmeric powder so it gives it a nice golden color So the very next step, we're going to add our masala and this is pre-mixed with the garam masala and curry and we're going to add our tomatoes and also we're using some thickly thyme that I'm adding here. Now we're going to give everything a nice mix and let everything get combined. So at this point, you want to make sure that your heat is on low heat. I'm going to go ahead and add the scallion. And also, we're adding the poi bhaji and the okra. And so all the time, we're cooking this in low heat. That's the key to it, cooking it on very low heat. So we're going to give everything a very nice mix here. So after three minutes of cooking, guys, look how amazing this looks. So you want to cook this and again i'm em emphasizing on low heat until your okra is like you know halfway cook and then you're going to add the fish so we're adding the kafam fish here and you know the cut it's already half cooked now very gently you're going to turn everything up you know you don't want to break the fish so you know you very easily you're going to be moving it around and take your time and let everything gets combined so the fish has to be coated with all those wonderful spices so friends you can use this recipe as a base and you can adjust the spices accordingly like if you don't use a lot of the spice then you know you can adjust that you know, so let it be used just as a base for your cooking. But this recipe is a really, really good one. Um, so this is looking really good. We're going to cover it and let it cook on very low heat. So after like about three minutes of simmering and low heat, we're going to do the first turn of the fish. So you're going to gently, you know, take a spoon and turn it. You know, you want to be careful that you don't break the fish. So 
So very gently you're turning each piece and you know, so that the other half get cooked. And if you notice, it's just cooking in that oil with all the masala, you know, and all the spices. And you want to check the okra, make sure it's getting soft. At this point, make sure you're checking your salt and you know, you can adjust your salt and everything. So for the next step now, we're gonna add just a little bit of boiling water just a little bit maybe like half of a cup not more than that and we're just gonna you know turn it like this now this is looking really good so we're gonna cover this and let this simmer down in between you know like once or twice you just gonna kind of move it around Guys, this is called careful cooking. <laughs> I know it takes a lot of, um, you know, concentration and effort here, guys. But I can tell you, it's all worth it. My goodness. So, guys, my advice if you're making this, you know, use a wide um, bottom pan and preferably like a nonstick pan. It will come, you know, you won't have to worry about it sticking to the bottom. So if you can, but it should be wide so that your fish doesn't break up in the process. And of course, low heat. So guys, this is looking so good right now. And um, you see all the water has burnt out. So lastly, it's all done. We're sprinkling the cilantro and a few um, scallions. Mm -hmm. how amazing is this so friends time to make myself a plate we're using basmati rice for this and um it goes really well with basmati rice i'm gonna take myself a nice piece of this kafam fish you can find this fish at most west indian groceries also i'm gonna on the side some steamed bora or yard long beans and guys how amazing this is so if you like this recipe, do give it a thumbs up. Any question, put it in the comment box. I will get to it. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Min, for sharing this recipe with us. And guys, I'll catch you in my other videos. Take care now. Bye-bye.